Backgrounds for a series. Now here's an idea for you, and it's a very easy one. You can take patterns that you use to make uh, clothing and use them as a background. So just add the background just like this. You use them, add more gel on top of that, let it dry. You can create layers of patterns and create very interesting effects that way. I often don't go collage over the edge until the top part is dry. So I just add until I'm happy with what I see. And I add different parts of the pattern, just like that one. And I remember that it's gel under and gel over. Now I'm going to use this in several paintings. So I'm going to create that background several times. I am doing a series with a friend that includes pears. So I'm going to use pears again for this and use the pattern background as an effect. And then I add the pears themselves. I start painting in just like that after I've drawn. I use the 2B pencil and then I just start painting. You can paint anywhere on top. If your paint is transparent, you can see the designs from the pattern underneath. And I love that part. I like using the pattern as a grid or as a means to create a structure. So this is how I start a painting. I often create paintings in a series. So I will do a whole series of pairs using different kinds of backgrounds, or I will use a pattern background, for example, for the whole series, but make all the pairs different. So there's all kinds of options for you out there. And I keep painting till I'm happy. I don't think I'll finish this in this section. I'm just adding a little bit to, more to the pairs but I will not finish this painting. I'm just going to give you an idea of how you can work the painting, and this will create a series. The idea is to create a series where there will be similar elements, but not everything's the same. Here's a collage that I did with drawings on the top, and I used ink this time. I didn't use pencil. So I used the ink pencils to just draw the lines and then a brush with water to blend them. I really like this effect. Here's more pairs and different kinds of results, different kinds of uh, backgrounds. So here's another pattern background with different pairs. They're all leaning on each other and the background's a little more abstract. This is a pair with different textures in the background created with what I call spackle or that wall compound. Collage elements with paint on top here. Here's more pairs again with a textured effect and then paints on the top. What happened here is I create a whole series of pairs for a show and the show never happened. Here's more collage with more drawing, so you can create a lot of different effects. Here you have tissue paper and other kinds of papers with the pairs. I have a trio of pairs there. And then this tiny little wooden one, you can work on wood as well with collage. Here's more wooden ones and then a board with textured papers with pairs on top. So this is a series and you want to create a similar topic or a similar background to create a series.